where I think about it, the, the, the less I see a way around it. I think that it is uh, uh, going to be a very natural uh, context that's probably going uh, to continue to, to grow in ways that surprise us as to the timing and the place uh, and, the, and the nature of it. Globalization and this interconnectivity, uh, and I think we're seeing it in the economic answer that we have right now, uh, is, is something that we've got a long way to get our arms around and uh, that we really understand it. Uh, the the uh, speed at which things move, the speed at which decisions are necessary, the risk that's involved in some decisions, and the unintended consequences, the second and third order effects that are involved as in, in things move are, are very, very serious uh, aspects, factors to the, you know, the nature of our strategic environment. I've been told that since I graduated from high school that there are now twice the number of nation states that existed over the last 40 something years. And that more than 50 of those are, are considered to be failing or failed. This is, this is an enormous uh, issue because the, the rise now of non state actors that are equipped with technology that once only nation states had uh, pose a significant problem to uh, developed nations and developing nations in ways that uh, make it very, very difficult for us to think in the traditional return methods of, of how you hold somebody and deter them by holding them at risk for what they have. Uh, and this is something that I know uh, that we wrestle with a great deal uh, on the Joint Chiefs as we talk through how uh, we would apply a deterrent strategy uh, for a national security. There's a rising middle class. I mean, China alone in the last couple of decades has, has raised the equivalent of the uh, population in the United States into a middle class consuming uh, consumer society that is placing demands on, uh, on energy and other things uh, you know, there that are going to continue to be a problem. And as we globalize and as we have uh, a rising middle class across the world, we're going to have continued problems. Uh, you know, greater than 50 percent, uh, and some some people say five out of six. I heard one speaker one time uh, say as many as five out of six uh, of the six billion people in the world are living on less than two dollars a day. Uh, you know, that, that, that's an amazing uh, idea when you think about it. And you think about the fact that, you know, 5% of the world's population in the United States is consuming over 25% uh, of the energy in the world today. This is, uh, this is something that is going to be a very of, of real concern. Economics are global, energy competition, uh, incredible and growing, and it's going to be an area of problems. One of the biggest uh, issues that we dealt with uh, on the Joint Chiefs was that of institutional change. And I think that uh, military is the only place that's having real problems with this. Uh, the notion of, uh, of being able to take uh, large uh, bureaucracies that have uh, a culture of their own and a history and being able to bring them together in a way that can overcome some of that uh, is a real issue. And when you talk about trying to do that, uh, then in a broader context, uh, internationally, where you're now dealing with uh, histories and cultures uh, that have their own, uh, there's a real tension there in how uh, you're able to operate. And I, you know, I go back and say, you know, uh, many times I've talked about, you know, 1648, the Peace of Westphalia, and the rise of the nation state, and, and, and you know, the, uh, you know, that being kind of a watershed moment in history, apparently, when the nation state content uh, was born. And, and yet, in many respects, we're having difficulty dealing in that context today in the strategic environment because of some of our, many of our real risks uh, are not confined with kind of the protocols of, of uh, Way we want to operate. And when you go all the way back to my original comments on information, and you think about the way the bureaucracy operates, and the speed, and the tension, and the risks that are involved in decision making within our bureaucracies, uh, 
trying to make